Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how we can download and install Bootstrap on our Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 operating system. Bootstrap is one of the most popular HTML, CSS and JavaScript framework for developing responsive mobile friendly websites and web applications. So let's see how we can uh, download and install Bootstrap on our system. So first of all, open your favorite browser and just search for Bootstrap. And the first link which will appear here will be from getbootstrap.com. So just click this link. And in here, you just need to click this download Bootstrap. And you will see here three options. One is download bootstrap, other is download source, and third one is download SAS. So one we are interested in is this one, and it's a free open source uh, you know, initiative, so you can download it for free. So just click this button, and it's going to download a zip file for you. So click OK. Now go to the folder where you have installed this zip file and just extract this zip file wherever you want. I'm going to uh, extract it in the same folder. And inside this uh, folder, you will be able to find three folders. One is CSS folder, other one is fonts, and third one is JavaScript. So for example, we go into the CSS folder and in here you will be able to see some of the CSS files related to the themes and design. And uh, this and this are important in our case whenever we uh, want to uh, you know, start this bootstrap uh, uh, project from the starting. This CSS file is important, this one and this one. And the m basic difference between these two uh, CSS files is the size so basically both are almost the same uh, files but the size is different one is 120 kb and when you open this file you will be able to see it's like a miniature file and compressed file and uh, when you open uh, this other bootstrap.css file you will be able to see that uh, it's like your normal css file which you can add it but for uh, the best practices you may want to create your own css file for uh, you know uh, styling your html code so once you have uh, extracted your folder what you can do is you can go to the same folder where you have extracted your uh, you know this zip file and inside the folder, you can create a HTML file. For example, I'm going to create a new HTML file. For example, I'm going to name it as index.html, okay? And I'm going to open this index.html. And in here, we can uh, write some code. So for the first time, what we are going to do is we are going to go to once again this website, which is getbootstrap.com. And on the right hand side, you will be able to see uh, these uh, tabs here. And in here, you will be able to see uh, basic templates. You can click this link. And in here, there is a basic example of this HTML5, which you can copy and paste it in your index.html and in here i will make it a little bit bigger and uh, here you can see uh, some uh, tags and you will be able to see this hello world so let's uh, save this file first and let's run it into the browser so you can i'm using uh, notepad plus plus by the way uh, to uh, edit my files but you can uh, choose the editor you like the most. So you can either preview this HTML file by right clicking and you can open with your favorite browser like this and it's going to show this hello world. But this is not the simple HTML hello world. You can see some uh, 
design incorporated already here and uh, this is how you can uh, you know uh, run your first bootstrap uh, html file and when we go inside this uh, html file you will be able to see this line of code and this line of code is uh, for the responsiveness of your browser so uh, you know you can use your uh, website on mobile and because bootstrap is a mobile friendly uh, you know uh, web framework so we will go to this uh, web page once again and uh, on the right hand side you will be able to see this examples here so you can click any example and uh, you can choose uh, any example from here so for example i'm going to choose this example and uh, when i shrink this browser you will be able to see the responsiveness of the web page so for example on the mobile it will look something like this and on your regular uh, you know windows browser it will look like this so this is uh, due to bootstrap and uh, it's more responsive right now once again we will go to our html page and here we can see uh, this bootstrap.min.css which is uh, taken from the css folder and uh, on the bottom you can see uh, it uses jquery for uh, its uh, plugin so you can see this comment here necessary for bootstrap javascript plugins so you need to include this jquery uh, file here and uh, the last line you can see is it's using bootstrap.min.js and this file you can find in the js folder in your extracted folder okay so this is how you can download and install bootstrap and run your first uh, bootstrap html page I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.